Hello everybody and welcome back. So as promised, I'm going to be shopping the Sephora VIP sale with you guys. I will input the screenshot of the sale dates on screen so you can pause to read. But I have my computer pulled up right here. I changed up my filming setup for this video, so it's gonna be a fun one. So before I get to shopping, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. This dress is kind of funny because it makes my Steve tattoo look like he's wearing like a little bonnet or something. I'll pull it up so it doesn't look like that. <laughs> okay, so here we are, the front page of Sephora. Usually when things come out and I'm interested in them, I'll heart them, so they're in my favorites. But I'm first gonna just go sort by new. I just want to get some makeup. I'm good on skincare, good on hair care, so I'm just going to be browsing the new makeup to film for you guys. Is this available in Canada? Because yesterday I was looking at this. Oh, it looks like it is now. Okay. When I was looking at this product yesterday, it wasn't available, so I think because it has SPF in it or something, but it looks like they passed the Canadian restrictions about sunscreen, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple of these in my cart. I'm very excited to try out the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. What's it about? Let's see. Hydrating like coverage, uh, all skin types, radiant finish. Sounds good to me. Okay. What color am I though? I might be 14W or 20W. I'm scared that 21 might be a little bit dark. I'm going to add both just for now. What's in my cart currently? I must have thrown something in there. Oh yes, okay, these Danessa Myricks Infinite Chrome Waterproof Micro Pencil Eyeliners look so cool. And I've been loving these types of eyeliners since I've been doing the double wing. They're so fun. When I did that look for my birthday with the Pat McGrath Trio Chrome, it was my favorite look I've ever done on myself. So I was thinking about getting a couple of these since they have that uh, like shift and they're really pretty colors. The colors I'm looking at are, which ones? I kind of want all of them, <laughs> but Lilac Quartz, Jade Emerald, and Lemon Quartz are the ones that stick out to me the most. I really like Rose Quartz and Morganite, but I feel like the other ones I just mentioned, I'll wear a lot more. I think, what shades do I have in my cart currently? So yeah, Lilac Quartz, Rose Quartz, Emerald, and Lemon Quartz. Oh, it looks like Rose might not be available anymore. It says to move to Loves, I don't know. We'll see. Almost at $200 already. Who did this? Back to the new page. Okay, these Danessa Myricks uh, Infinite Chrome Flakes also intrigue me a lot, but at the same time, I don't know if they're for me because they look really like flaky on the lids and I don't really like when my eyes look crepey or whatever. So the eyeliners might be better for my tastes, but in these editorial photos of hers, they look amazing. Like look at this eye look, that is so cool. And the shades and shifts are really, really interesting. I don't know, I might think about it. The, the shade that I would be purchasing would be Strobe Light, but it looks like it's sold out, so I don't think this is for me this time around, but they, they're very different and interesting. See, now looking at this model's eye here, I don't like the texture on her lid. That looks really uncomfortable to me. I really dislike when cream shadows and liquid shadows do that to my lids, so I just, I don't know. It's not for me. I prefer the eyeliners, I think. Now this Natasha Denona Pastel Eyeshadow Palette looks really, really interesting to me. It's gorgeous. I have loved it already, so this might be something I might invest in during the sale since I can get a little bit of it off. Ooh, the new Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. This is the rose version. Um, I don't know if I'd really use this as much as the one I already have. Like the bottom row looks nice, but I, I just am not a fan of the dusty pinks on myself. I always feel like it washes out my skin tone. It looks good with my eye color, but it washes out my skin tone. So I'm gonna pass on that right now. Okay, I'm just gonna take a, a good look. I didn't know this was coming out. That's kind of cool, but I, I just would never use the darker shades. I guess I could use them on the eye or something, but I don't know. I don't feel very um, interested in it, I guess. I was added to the Clé de Peau PR list recently, and every time I see the prices of their items, I get like anxiety. So let me know if you'd like to see me try out these ridiculously expensive products. Like they're crazy expensive, and I'm scared to use them, and I'm scared to like them because repurchasing that will really hurt. But let me know if you're interested in a super bougie, bougie, bougie video. <laughs> K 
Okay, Danessa Myers is really interesting me this time around. Wow, okay, I really want to try out the Yummy Skin Glow Serum Primer as well as the foundation. And the foundation is refillable, which I, I love that. So I'm for sure going to add one of these products to... No! Oh no, that sucks. <laughs> I should have maybe put in my order at midnight. <laughs> I really want to try this out. I'll just leave it in my loves for right now. But the shade I would get is Main Squeeze. Juice Boost looks like it would just be way too deep for me. Um, although it looks kind of sheer, I don't know. I would prefer Main Squeeze though. That's the one I would use more often. Okay, let's hope that this doesn't continue. <laughs> <laughs> this sold out uh, journey. I'm really interested in the backstage concealer from Dior. I know a lot of you wanted to see me try this out when I did my full face of Dior, so I'm going to um, add a couple shades into my cart. I'm going to grab one W. Fair to light skin with warm undertones. Uh, I currently use 1.5 in the other concealer, the full coverage one, so I think this will be a good match. I think I'm going to go into my loves because I kind of took a peek at this last night and um, I'm not really seeing anything I'm interested in here. So let's go to my loves. We'll see what's in here. So, oh no, okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so the LYS blushes, I really, really enjoyed but I didn't like the shades I had in my collection, so I decluttered them or passed them on to other people. But it looks like the newer shades are already sold out, so I think I'm gonna <laughs> have to wait on this too. Okay, that sucks. So for Rose Ink, I was going into today's video knowing that I was going to purchase two of the Skin Enhanced Luminous Skin Tints. My current shade right now, just so I have a backup, um, while I can get some money off and a shade for the summer. So I'm going to repurchase the shade 30 and I'm going to grab the shade 50. And this one's a bit deeper than I think I would always be, but I'm going to mix it with 30 so I can always adjust and get my perfect shade at the time. So those two are going to be going in my basket and I already have that concealer. Ooh, I actually, I, I put in warm instead of neutral. I think warm will be okay because looks like one N is sold out. <laughs> and we already talked about these eyeliners. See right here, this is what was confusing me. This item cannot be shipped to Canada, so we'll see if I can get it anyways. This is really sad. I really wanted to try the Kosas uh, foundation. I did purchase a shade from online, but I don't know where it went. I know I was going to be on their mailer for this, but I, I have a feeling that my package got lost and I was going into today's video wanting to purchase a shade of the Revealer Skin Foundation, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that now because it doesn't look like it's going to be available in Canada. Just for funsies, while I'm looking at it, I'm going to add the Natasha Denona Pastel Eyeshadow Palette into my, into my bag. It's so gorgeous. It looks so beautiful. And Merit, I wanted to pick up another shade in the Signature Lipsticks. I'm really looking at the shade Slip. It's described as a warm neutral, and it looks very pretty. <laughs> like, wow, that looks so good on her lips. She has very beautiful lips. Yeah, Slip looks like a, a me color. Millennial is really cute too, but I'm going to just grab the shade Slip kind of creating my dream basket right now and then I'm going to edit it further after I'm done having fun. I don't have a huge budget. <laughs> so let's see the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. I hear that this is amazing and I also hear that it runs a little bit light or was it dark? I should check. It runs super light. Okay, that's good to know. 6N, let's see. 6N looks like it would be perfect for me. 4N does as well in the swatches, um, but I think my gut is telling me to go with 6N, especially hearing that it like runs really light, so that feels good to me. I do need to repurchase another Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. I'm almost done mine, so it's perfect timing so I can save a little bit of money. I'm going to get the value size, because I use this every day. It's my favorite everyday SPF. Um, and I also wanted to get another shade of the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I'm wearing a shade right now and it's a bit too yellow and dark for me, but the shade I was going to use and the shade that's perfect for me is Gobi and it looks like it's out of stock. <laughs> so <laughs> I already have my Makeup Forever Ultra HD 
um, foundations. I think I'm, I can just unheart these. I don't need these anymore. I luckily received them in PR. Um, and, oh, dang it! I really wanted to get one of the new shades in the Patrick Ta blushes. This is one of the newer shades that he launched right after holiday time. It looks beautiful, but this is the other one I was looking at. It's a beautiful plum shade, and it looks quite bronzy as well. I think this would be so dreamy in the summer. So I'm just gonna add it to cart, you know? It feels right. That's one of the blushes I always add to my cart and I always remove it. So maybe this time around it will, it will be mine. <laughs> Coming up to the end for me, I was kind of interested in the Kali Ray Free Dreaming uh, Clean Blurring Skin Tint, but I did see this in store and the shades are a little too skippy for me. I feel like I would have to buy a couple shades to mix my perfect one. And I don't know, it didn't really feel unique to me on the back of my hand there. So I think I'm going to skip out on it for the meantime. But this right here, this really intrigued me. The Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. What a name, that sounds so intriguing to me. And there's so many shades. Oh my God, I just sounded like the TikTok voiceover girl. I hated that. And there's so many shades. <laughs> this one is really intriguing me. This one's really pretty, but I think that'll be too dark for me always. But it's a really gorgeous, rusty, orangey shade. I'm really, I don't know if I love the shade range. I feel like it could be a bit more unique. This one's really standing out to me though, but I have so many blushes like that. Um, I think there's other things I'm more interested by, but the name really, really gets me. I feel like that might be everything I was intrigued by the sale time around. This Laneige collection is so cute. I did receive it in PR. The, the moisturizer is in such a cute component. I'm really excited to try it out. <laughs> skincare packaging is always so intriguing to me. I don't know. I don't need any skincare. I have a lot going on in my collection already. I just needed to refill my SPF. So I think I'm good in this section. Maybe let's just take a peek at the hair care because um, I need, always need to take care of my natural hair and the extensions since they stay in my head always. I have to baby them even extra because they don't produce their own oils or anything like that. But at the same time, I feel like I have a lot of hair care backups that I need to try out for you guys. So I think that might be it. It kind of feels short. I kind of wanted to rage a bit more, but I think that's all that really caught my eye the sale time around. Let's go through my cart and kind of take things down. It might change again, we'll see, but I will for sure be doing a try on haul once this package arrives to me, so you'll see what my final cart was. Um, but let's just go over what I have in here. I'm gonna cut it down quite a bit because that's over what I was wanting to spend. Um, but of course that's before the 20% off. I'm really sold on these four eyeliners. I'm really excited about these, I think this is what I'm most excited about in my cart personally, because I think it's just going to take my double wing to the next level. Like, can you imagine? Especially this emerald shade. I don't know if I clicked through on this to show you, but they all have shifts, like intense shifts. Like this one's really cool. It goes from a gold to a really bright, beautiful iridescent lime green. Lilac Quartz is a, it reminds me of the Winterfell Snow stick that I love so much from the Game of Thrones collection from Urban Decay. Wow, I said that so backwards, but you'll know what I mean. It looks just like that. Like they're all beautiful. This whole line, NUR collection, <laughs> I want, I want it all. I'm sold on those four. I think that's going to elevate my makeup game so much and add so much more fun. So for the tinted moisturizer, I feel like since we're going to be going into summer, I'm just gonna purchase the shade 20W. I'm sold on the Dior Backstage Concealer um, in the shade 1W. I think that's going to be okay. I'm just going to double check their swatches. Oh yeah, yeah, that's going to be good. But 1N looks like it would have been even more perfect for me, but I think 1W, it doesn't look like super, super, super yellow like some other brands. I feel like I'll be good. For Rose Ink, I went into this knowing I was going to purchase two shades, so those are going to be a permanent stay in here. For the pastel eyeshadow palette, I, I don't know, maybe it's, this may be subject to change, but that'd be really cool with the Danessa Myricks eyeliners. That'd be a really fun video. 
I might. And the colors are really fun. I think this would be a palette that I would love to reach for, kind of like I do with my Sugar Pill Fun Size palette. I don't, I feel really drawn to it, so I think it shall stay. I really want another shade in the Merit Signature Lips. Uh oh, it looks like everything's gonna stay. <laughs> I am really excited to try out the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. I needed another SPF, and I've been looking at this Patrick Tub blush for over a year now. I think I'm going to buy it since I love the blushes so much, love the formula, and I could always go for another color. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. I'm a blush addict. So I think this is my final cart. I know it's a lot of money, it truly is, but this is my job and I will review it all for you guys and let you know what's up. Well, I'm really excited to receive this package and create a really fun look and review these products for you guys. This is going to be a fun one. I'm really excited about this. Okay, but that's going to be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's shop with me. Let me know if you'd like to see these more often because this is really fun to do. But I will link the things I'm going to be purchasing in today's video in the description down below as well as the things I'm wearing on my face today just in case if you're curious. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.